Now that we know what a limiting reagent is, let's try and solve this numerical problem. The question is that we have 50 kgs of nitrogen and 10 kgs of hydrogen. These are mixed together to produce ammonia. We have to calculate the ammonia formed and identify the limiting reagent, if any, in, this, in the production of ammonia in this reaction. We have been given certain masses of the reactants and we would like to know how much of the product would be formed from these reactants. And are these reactants in the ratio that they are required or is one of these a little excess or is one of these a little short of the required amount and therefore would one of these act as a limiting reagent. To solve such a problem, the first step is to write the balanced chemical equation. Write the balanced chemical equation. Here, one mole of nitrogen combines with three moles of hydrogen to produce two moles of ammonia. We have been given 50 kgs of nitrogen and 10 kgs of hydrogen. The molar masses of nitrogen are 28 grams, N2 nitrogen is 14 grams and N2 would be uh, 28 grams. Hydrogen, one hydrogen is 1.008, so two hydrogens H2 would be 2.016 grams, we are talking of molar mass. Therefore, the first step should be to find out the number of moles that both the of hydrogen and nitrogen that we have. So, how do we calculate the number of moles? The mass of the substance given to us in grams divided by its molar mass gives us the number of moles of that substance. So, let us first find out the number of moles. 50 kgs of nitrogen would be 50 into convert it into grams. We know 1000 grams make 1 kg. Therefore, nitrogen, number of moles of nitrogen would be 50 kgs into 1000 grams upon 1 kg. We are using the unit conversion factor. The kg, kg will be uh, cancelled out to convert it into grams. And then, now this is the mass of nitrogen in grams, we have to divide it by its molar mass. What's the molar mass of nitrogen? It's 28. Am I clear? So this would be equal to, what would the mass be equal to? 17.86. This is equal to 17.86 into 10 to the power 2 moles. This is the number of moles of nitrogen that 50 kgs of nitrogen would be. What about hydrogen? H2. Hydrogen it's the same, we have 10 kgs, convert it into kgs into grams. So the kg kg is cancelled, 10 into 1000 would be 10,000 into what is the molar mass? You have to divide it by the molar mass, 2.016 grams. So the grams and grams would get cancelled here and therefore you would be left with moles which is equal to 4.96 into 10 to the power 4.96 into 10 to the power 3 moles. Now we have 17.86 into 10 to the power 2 moles of nitrogen and we have 4.96 into 10 to the power 3 moles of hydrogen. This is the required amount that we have. The next step is, what is our question? We have to find out how much of ammonia is formed and is any of these a limiting reagent? To find out whether we have the right quantities, we choose one of these quantities. For example, we can take nitrogen. We know that we have these many moles of nitrogen. One mole of nitrogen requires three moles of hydrogen to produce ammonia in a balanced chemical equation. The ratio is one is to three. For every one mole of nitrogen, you require three moles of hydrogen. So for every 17.86 into 10 to power two moles of nitrogen, how much of uh, hydrogen would we require? So we say for one mole of nitrogen requires three moles of hydrogen. So, 17.86 into 10 to the power 2 moles of nitrogen would require how much? Would require 3 divided, use unitary method, 3 divided by 1 
into 17.86 into 10 to the power 2 moles of hydrogen. For every 1 mole of nitrogen, the hydrogen required is 3 moles. So for every 17.86 into 10 to the power 2 moles of nitrogen, hydrogen would re required would be into 3 because thrice the amount of hydrogen is required. So what does this come out to be equal to? This becomes equal to the hydrogen required would be 5.36 into 10 to the power 3 moles. Actually when you calculate it, it is 53.6 into 10 to the power 2. But in order to compare it with this which is 10 to the power 3, the exponent should be the same. Therefore I converted this. It's 5.36 into 10 to the power 3 moles of hydrogen would be required. But what is the amount of hydrogen that we have, what, that we have been given? It is 4.96 into 10 to the power 3 moles. We only have 4.96 into 10 to the power 3, while we require 5.36 into 10 to the power 3 moles if we have to use 50 kgs of nitrogen or these many moles of nitrogen. Hence, what is which reactant is are we running short of? We are running short of hydrogen. Therefore, hydrogen is the limiting reagent. Once we know hydrogen is the limiting reagent, then the product, the amount of product formed depends on the limiting reagent. So that quantity determines how much product will be formed. Go back to the balanced chemical equation. We know 3 moles of hydrogen produces 2 moles of ammonia. 3 moles of hydrogen produces ammonia how much? Produces ammonia 2 moles. So, 1 mole of hydrogen will produce how much of ammonia? It would be 2 upon 3. And how many moles do we have? We have 4.96 into 10 to the power 3 moles of hydrogen. So, 4.3 moles of, we are using unitary method here. 3 moles of hydrogen produces 2 moles of ammonia. So, 1 will produce 2 upon 3 and this much will produce into 4.96 into 10 to the power 3 moles of ammonia. When you solve this, this comes to be equal to, this is equal to 3.3 into 10 to the power 3 moles. Do you get me? By unitary method, we again, by plugging in this value, that this is the amount of uh, hydrogen and this is the limiting reagent. So, this is the quantity which is going to determine the amount of product obtained. So, using this, we find out the amount of product obtained is 3.3 into 10 to the power 3 moles of ammonia would be produced. But what is the molar mass of ammonia now? Nitrogen is 14 and hydrogen is 1. 14 plus 3 would be approximately 70. Therefore, if this is the number of moles you to, and you want it in grams, this would be equal to 3.3 into 10 to the power 3 moles into grams. Mole is only a number. So into uh, how much? The molar mass is uh, 14, 15, 16, 17 would be equal to 56.1 into 10 to the power 3 grams. This would be the number of grams of ammonia that would be produced. And since our question was in kgs, that we were provided with 50 kgs and 10 kgs, let us answer in kgs. 1000 grams make a kg, so you can eliminate this. 56.1 kilograms of ammonia would be produced. So this was how would you solve numericals on limiting reactants. Solve as many problems as you can and please come back to me as often as you can. I would love to help you with chemistry. Thank you for watching.